Hey guys, Whitney Baker here with Justin's Midwest and your book, university.com. And here we are, it's February. It is a uh, selling season, my friends. If we have not sold out of our books, that is the goal for the rest of the year. So today I'm going to talk to you about something that would help us uh, kind of target those non-buyers. And it's a small task, but I just want to walk you through how to do it. We're going to talk about how um, entering your on-campus sales into the sales report will make your lives so much easier. <laughs> Okay, as May approaches and the end of school is drawing near, uh, now's the time um, that you're really going to be thinking about the number of your books that you're going to order. And if you're a spring book, you're really thinking about it right now. Um, and if you're a fall book, you've got a little bit of time, but this is when we need to push people. So let's talk about how we're going to do that. Now, when you log into your book Avenue or whichever, um, whichever publisher you're using, I'm sure they have a hub kind of like this with Jostens. When you log in, you will see a bunch of um, information down here at the bottom at this little dashboard. And I like these little widgets that they'll kind of keep me um, on task by showing me my deadlines. Obviously I'm past due, bad news. And then we've got three times coverage, which we can talk about a little bit. Year to date sales, I've got 11 copies sold. My goal is zero. So I guess I'm doing pretty well. My ad sales, my total pages and whatnot, any tasks and upcoming events, they're all down here. Our tagged images are also really important as far as the coverage goes. But today we're gonna to talk about those sales and targeting non-buyers and here's how we can do that, my friends. So under sell, if you come up to yearbook sales entry, for those of you, and at this point, I'm sure a lot of you are selling books on campus. I know that you've got record of it. Maybe you've got a spreadsheet somewhere that you're keeping track, but this is where it's gonna be most helpful for us because um, that will help Allie and I create a merchandising plan for you guys if you're having trouble selling out of those last few books. We need to be able to see. We don't know what you guys are selling and what you're doing at the building. The only way for us to know what you're doing is by putting it in here for us and the here's how. So you've got a stack of on-campus sales. You'll come in here to select student. If you have um, uploaded your uh, student list, we will see a list of students here that we can choose from. So if I wanted to come up here and type Whitney, uh, there's uh, Whitney Kelly, and we'll say that she purchased the book. If I select that, all of her information should pop in down here. Um, she's a ninth grader. This is all being pulled from that student list, that all important student list that you uploaded at the beginning of the year. Another good reason to upload that list. We will need it for non-buyer um, communications come this time of year every year. So once I've selected my student, have her or his information in, I can come down here and select the offers that I am going to have that student choose from. Now, uh, you can come in here and choose the uh, yearbook, uh, number of yearbooks that they're purchasing. And let me back up. You're probably wondering, what do you mean by offer? Well, an offer is basically kind of think of it as the tiers that we've set up for your yearbook, um, your yearbook uh, sales. So I can show you, let's take a step back under sell your book offer setup. So this is something that Allie and I are kind of doing with you on the back end, And this is what we've entered in that you've told us to enter in um, so that you can see your campaigns. You'll be able to see them here, but you won't be able to change much of that information here. We'll talk about that though. So let's say we talk at the, at the beginning of the year, you're going to have a couple of different options. Uh, as far as tiers go, you're going to start at 50 and then you're going to go up to 55. And if I wanted to see information about this specific offer, I could come in, I can even name it something different, but what's going to be offered is the yearbook personalization icons and the signature package. Come over here. You can select which of the accessories you want to include and also their prices. So you can update, update that here, save. So you can come in, here's your offers. Um, and I should have showed you where the dates are. So, um, you can come in and for offer one, actually that may be something that Allie and I, yep, we'll have to do on the back end for you. So if you're changing dates or anything like that, just let us know and we can help either add more offers in or help change things around. Okay. 
So coming back to the sales entry. So we've had our offers entered in and if you're not going to sell online, that's okay, but it's still important for us to put offers in for you. That's uh, so that you can come in here and enter your on-campus sales. If you can't, if you don't have an offer in, you won't have anything to choose from over here and that system won't know what you're charging and whatnot for the books. So come into yearbook, one yearbook. Let's say that they are going to buy personalization. Um, they can come over here and select the options that you give them. We've only given them their name. And then they come over here and type their name. Whitney Kelly, I think was the name and the different icons that they have chosen. If you're offering this on your order forms at campus, this is where you're going to enter that in. Okay. Come over here. You can choose who it was sold by. If you're giving your students uh, credit for, um, for selling books, offer discount, you can set um, payments if the if the student is going to pay in a couple of different payments, or you can set it as paid in full. Put in the check number and the balance, and uh, we can come down here and hit save, and then it will save that order as an order. And what we can do at that point is then we can really take advantage of our coverage report. Okay, so coming over here to show you that real quick. Actually, I think I am. Let's just going to go ahead and put in that order. I'm sorry. I should have done that. We'll just pick one real quick. Come in. We'll say this is going to be one yearbook. Come over here. Set as paid in full. And we're going to save. So this was for Samantha. So now if I come over here to create and coverage report, this is where that student list information is going to be once you've uploaded it. Um, we can see that these were uploaded from portraits. So there's two ways that information gets in here. Your student list that you provide to us with the student email addresses so that we can provide campaigns for sales and add sales via email to your parents. It could also come from a yearbook plus list, and that is going to be a list of student email addresses if you're going to take advantage of yearbook plus. And that is where the students can submit pictures to be tied to their portraits, or they can submit pictures for different content pages, such as homecoming or dance pages or anything like that. If you have questions about your book plus, I'd love to talk to you about it. It's one of my favorites. It's where your books are going. Um, but that's a completely different video. So the other place it could, uh, all this information could come from are the portraits. And in this case, that's where they came from because I can tell there's no email addresses here. So if I came over to Samantha, scroll over, here's all where her information would have been. If I would have put all of that information, she's in the yearbook once because she has a portrait and she's marked as a buyer. Last year, she was not a buyer and she's also not an ad buyer. Okay. So we can come in and we can filter this by the buyers. And here's all of our non-buyers, lots of them. We have lots of uh, marketing to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Here's a really cool thing. Send an email. You guys can manually send these emails yourself. If you want to just blast one out real quick, come in and choose the product. You can send out a senior ad recognition if you want. We're going to send it to obviously your high schools and that will help us choose from the templates. We're going to do yearbook ads that last chance to order. And it creates this awesome and easy ad already for you. We can come in and, and say our senior ads are definitely the last day they're going to be due is February 28th. Um, and put in your school name here. This will be Whitney High School. And it changes that information where it needs to be changed. And come over here and we can add emails. Now, if you had um, uploaded a list of student um uh, parent emails, then you'll have an option to choose from those. But since I did not, I can just put in uh, Baker at Johnston's, ah, Johnston's.com and I can hit add. And this ad will actually come to my email address. And when I hit send and it's going to send the promotion right now and off it goes. So that is the advantage of sending these emails. They will only go to, um, to schools or to non buyers. Okay. So now that you know how to enter your on-campus sales, hop on it friends, because we have got to, um, take advantage of the next couple of months before we have to put in our final count. Um, we want to sell out our book before they arrive. So we're going to shoot high for our goal and we are going to make that happen. And the easiest way of doing that is by taking advantage of the tools that Jostens has to offer. And if these are tools that you are not having, um, offered to you because you're not a Jostens customer, 
please feel free to reach out. We'd love to show you all the amazing things and talk a little bit slower than we do in these videos to show you um, what you're missing out on. Okay. Have a great week. And if you have any questions about on-campus sales or entering them, feel free to reach out and we'll talk soon. Ha, 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 ha.